So, Universe, uh, a couple weeks ago, I did a fun little video about me making the case for Vegeta to be in Mortal Kombat 11. And today I thought I'd do a follow-up, because why not? Uh, so this video is going to be making the case for Azula to, from Avatar The Last Airbender to be an MK11. Now, full disclaimer, I am fully aware. Don't even bother in the comments, because I am fully aware that this will probably not happen. This will more than likely, like... 99.9% .9 chance of it not happening. You, I, you don't need to tell me, I already know this will not happen. But I decided, you know, it'd be fun. You know, why not talk about characters that we couldn't see, but still could, that could make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, Azula, while there's no chance of her getting in because of, you know, rights and what have you, and I doubt Nickelodeon would allow, you know, one of their characters to brutally murder, no matter if she has really brutally murdered people in the past, to mur brutally murder people in a uh, show, in a game that involves people getting brutally murdered, to and also get brutally murdered herself. I need to stop saying brutally murdered now. <laughs> but I digress. So, the point I'm trying to make is, is that this video is just fun. And, you know, it's a fun little discussion video. It's just a fun little, uh, what if. That's, uh, that's all it is. It's just a what if situation. So, let's get into it. Now, I know what you're thinking, uh, right off the bat. There is no way Azula could fit in the Mortal Kombat universe. There's no way, uh, a character from, even though while it is one of the best animated shows in existence, and dealt with adult themes, there's, it's still, regard, you could still, you know, people still make the argument of, a, of, oh, it's a kid's show, so why should we even bother trying to make it a thing? Why should we even bother making it a actual, like, uh, you know, why should we try to put it in the Mortal Kombat universe? Well, like I said, Avatar The Last Airbender dealt with very adult themes, and Azula was a, ver was a very vicious and violent character. She was cunning, she was manipulative, and when it came down to fighting, she was a force to be reckoned with. Hell, it took Zuko and Katara to beat him. And even then, um, when Aang had to fight her head-on at points, she still was um, a more dangerous opponent than even like Zuko was to Aang. So, Azula is a serious fighter. Um, so Azula in here makes sense of her being that kind of violent, that kind of violence and viciousness and, you know, just raw power just screams Mortal Kombat. It just totally screams uh, for a character like this to be in Mortal Kombat. Now, another question. What about the gear system? How would a, a, a gear system work for Azula since it looks like we are doing much like an in Injustice 2, we're doing. We're bringing that in with MK11 with the with the whole gear system thing. So how would this work? Well, glad you asked because Azula, the, the gear system could easily work for Azula. Remember, her ar you know Fire Nation armor is always evolving and adapting. So you could easily go with her regular clothes or her Fire Nation armor she wore in season three. You could also do like a variation of the Kyoshi of, of her Kyoshi warrior costume she wore. Uh, also, you could do, like, a variation of her Earth Kingdom costume she wore. Um, there's also, of course, like, her... You could even do her uh, ninja outfit from the comics. The, uh, I can't remember their name, but basically the uh, costume that looked like ninja, a ninja slash the Phantasm from Batman Mask of the Phantasm. It was kind of like a mix of that. But point being is that there is a variation of a gear system in here. Like, uh, and again... Uh, Azula's fighting, it, again, it's just so many variations you can do with that kind of gear system that I think would work. Um, now, fighting style. Let's actually get into the fighting style. Now, Azula uh, is, of course, a firebender, and her firebending is next to none. She is incredibly powerful, she is dangerous, um, and, of course, she can also bend lightning. So, technically, she's a, she can uh, bend both, you know, she's a dual bender. Although, lightning is pretty much the evolved form of fire, but let's not even get into that. Um, so, how would you incorporate fire bending into Mortal Kombat? Well, Azula has known for hand-to-hand -hand combat, but she could definitely be more of a ranged fighter. She can definitely be more like a ranged fighter where she hits you, blasts you with fire, or hits you with fire from afar, 
Um, definitely like something in the vein of like Raiden or uh, in some in some video games like Scorpion. I wouldn't call her a summoner character. Definitely not a summoner per se, but she would be a, a like more of a ranged fighter. Up close, she would be good, but um, she's more of a, a you know she could easily attack you from afar and then get up close. Like even you could have her because there was one point where she did carry a knife under her wrist. Where you could have that nut, where she pulls up, grabs someone, grabs that knife, and just starts stabbing away before throwing them back. Uh, and again, her lightning is another powerful ranged attack. Um, again, if people may make the argument that, oh, her lightning's a little too close to Raiden, but I think you can do enough variations with uh, Azula to make her different from Raiden. If you have, if uh, going on the uh, hypothetical, if we had her in the game then yeah, you could definitely make enough ver and I think the Mortal Kombat crew could easily make um, Azula enough, give her enough variations with her lightning, because she has to be stationary with it. It takes, you know, she has to be, um, she has to be standing still in order to use it. Her firebending is easy. Her lightning, it takes a lot of concentration and a lot of power to use. She can't just whip that out in the middle of, uh, you know, uh, so easily, like Raiden can. So it would have to be like a grab move or a fatality that she would be using it. You know, that's the big uh, thing right there is that um, that's, I think, would make her different from uh, from, you know, from Raiden. Uh, so, yeah, that's, a, you know, that's another big thing. Now, for story-wise, I could definitely see that the story is that uh, Chromonica, I think that's her, her name, I, I'm always mispronouncing that name, has basically, you know, her the the war between uh, her and Raiden has kind of caused a rips through time throughout the multiverse, and Azula was thrown into this, you know, this new universe. And rather than, you know, try to find her way back, she's more like, it's a new world to conquer. There's, you know, my father's not here, Zuzu's not here, I could easily just run this place if I wanted to. It's it's a whole new ball game that I can stake my claim in. So rather than try to find a way back, Azula wants to conquer and become the new Lord of Outworld. And yeah, I could definitely like that could be her ending where she talks about how she overcame Raiden and the others and became the ruler of Outworld or even like she's now planning to rule like ne the Nether Realm and uh, uh and even Earth Realm. Like there's a uh, like, it's just a whole, uh, full-on, like, she's planning an invasion after becoming the new ruler of Outworld, after taking it from Kotal Khan or, or something like that. Uh, Azula Khan, there you go. Az uh, you know, she now goes by Azula Khan. Uh, or something like that. Fatalities would be interesting, because I would definitely incorporate lightning into both fatalities. One fatality I thought of is very, like, a summoning one where she gets Mei and Tai Li to come in, like, just how, like, the uh, Xenomorph could summon the Xenomorph Queen and do a reference kill in, from it. No one brings up that that kill was Bishop's death in Aliens. Like, no one brings up a fatality like, oh, that's a reference to Bishop's death in, uh, well, quote-unquote death uh, in Aliens. Like, no one brought up that, that Xenomorph Queen kill. But here, I, here's how I would do the azula Tylee may combo death, where Tylee would come out first, and do multiple hits to, uh, to paralyze the other character. And then Mei comes in, uh, throws some daggers into the, like, the guy's shoulders and knees, and then like uh, parts of his chest and even like the throat and head. Azula finishes it, like the guy's bleeding on the ground, like he's, uh, he's kneeling on the ground, just all bleeding out. Azula grabs one of the, uh, uh, Mei's knives on the forehead and just starts electrocuting the guy till his head explodes. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I know what you're thinking. That's that's kind of, like, again, it goes to the Xenomorph Queen summoning, and even, like, Injustice had the, um, had, like, a, a like a team uh, finishing move with the uh, Shell Shock move with the TMNT. And even, like, you could do a little of TMNT, like, a reference to the TMNT fighting where some of Azula's moves is her, like, calling in, uh, having Mei, like, throw daggers and jumping out, or Ty Lee stunning the opponent and jumping out or cartwheeling out would probably be more appro appropriate, unless you want to just do Azula. Other fatality would be Azula summoning the lightning and just pouring everything she has into frying this guy. It did just 
frying them or clutching the guy by the head and just start keep shocking and or something like it would definitely be both would definitely involve lightning i would say that because i like i said azula's uh bending uh, lightning bending takes a lot of energy from her like it, you, she can't just go, jump around and shoot lightning it has to be stationary so that'd definitely be more for fatalities so there you go and once again i have to stress that this video you know this video is just basically like hey let's have some fun and talk about character let's talk about a character that has no chance of being in mortal kombat 11 but wouldn't it be fun if they were so you guys tell us in the comments below what do you guys think of the uh, of the idea of Azula being a Mortal Kombat 11 you know guest character? Do you guys like that idea? Do you guys hate that idea? How do you think the gear system would work for Azula? What kind of how would you do her fatalities? Would you have Mei and Tai Lee be like assist characters for her or part of her fatality? And if you're new here, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's Mightiest Subscribers. I'm really curious to see what you guys have to say about this one, but until the next time, I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.